Next thing we're going to do is we're going to walk through the product a little bit um, with the product review. So like I mentioned, we're going to go um, through load management. So load management, you have an RPE questionnaire in your readiness and performance packages, as well as any custom questionnaire in your, your elite package. So this has a session, session rating and a session duration. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a few different visuals based off of those two metrics that can become a powerful load management tool. So when we do that, and I'm here at the home screen, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually show you the questionnaire right now. So you have questionnaires. Let's go to our responses. I know we have a bunch of different athletes completing uh, my questionnaires right here. So maybe we check out um, Robert. Let's see his results for the questionnaire. So we hit show, and we can see exactly how he responded to his questionnaire. So he has his moderate rating and his session duration right here. Um, so that's the workload RPE questionnaire right inside the, the packages. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to create three visuals. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select build visualization. It's right inside the settings menu. This allows you to do a lot of different things with every single data point that you keep in the system. So we're going to go straight to dashboard right here. Um, and we're going to create a new dashboard. So let's call this daily RPE rating just so we can see that over time. So we have an aggregate so we can put it on both the individual and group dashboard as we can see right here. I have my dashboard name. What are we going to look at? Time period. I have day, week, month, year. I'm just going to look at the past 14 days for example. I can hide empty time periods so there's no gap in between any of them. I can show you dates with only a filter, whatever it might be. We're going to leave the filter alone um, for the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull that field. So right here, you're going to add a new chart plot. And all the way at the bottom of this drop down menu is you're going to see your questionnaire. So I have my readiness survey and my workload uh, survey as well. So I have my session rating right here. How hard was today's session for you? I have my per athlete value. I'm going to select average and I'm going to put this on the group as well. So I want to look at the group's average as well. I'm going to do that. So I can choose what plot type I want. Um, we're going to leave this at column and maybe we want to throw in a linear trend line to this as well. So we're going to hit save and it's going to save that right away. So the second visual we're going to create is an RPE monotony and strain dashboard. And this is a really cool visual. If we go down here, we're going to see it right in here. RPE, Monotony and Strain History Dashboard. We're going to select that. We're going to give the RPE field. So session, OK. SRPE field, uh, how hard was today's session? And duration, how long was today's session? We're going to add both those right in. I'm going to leave it my default number of weeks, seven. And then I'm going to count my empty days as rest days. So I have that. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to select save, and I've successfully created my second visual. And then third, lastly, and of course most powerful, is the RPE TSB, um, your training stress balance, your acute to chronic ratio dashboard, however you'd like to refer to it as. You have a name right here. We're going to go all the way down to the RPE training stress balance history dashboard. So we go right in there, um, and we have all our um, fields again. So we're going to put in our rating RPE field. We're going to put in our duration RPE field. Number of days to display. I'm going to change that to 28. And then I have my acute and my chronic load sum. So by default, it's set to the, the typical 7 to 28 day acute to chronic ratio. Of course, this can be changed to anything you'd like. Maybe you want to have a 3 to 7 day, whatever it might be. You can do that. Um, you can change those accordingly. And then if you want to include the current day and the acute to chronic, that's completely up to you. But the key part here is your threshold. So you're thinking about all the different um, ratios that you can come up with. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go with a pretty standard set. So anything greater than or equal to, and I like to have a low number here just to keep it pretty standard. Um, so we're going to have that blue. And then your green zone, so where we want our guys to be, um, we're going to put it in green. So I have 0.8, um, and I want to go 0.8 to 1.3 is going to be that green zone. So I'm going to leave that greater than or equal to, remember, is going to be 0 0.8, greater than or equal to, all the way up to 1.3. I'm going to flag that yellow on the, on the dashboard, 
and then to 1.4 um, and greater is going to be my red zone. So I don't want any of my athletes going higher than that. Uh, maybe into the 1.3 to 1.4 range every once in a while, but never really into that 1.4 unless absolutely necessary. So um, of course when you're talking about load management, when you start getting higher, the 1.3, you increase your chance for uh, soft tissue injury and then 1.4 and greater um, even more so. So we're going to save that and I have my save successfully prompt right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into my dashboard layouts um, and drop that right in. So I actually already set one up. I'm going to go into load management. So we had our daily rating one. I'm going to put that full width and hit add. I'm going to go to monotony and strain one full width and hit add and then my RPE TSB that I just created full width select add and I can see them all right here and I can change the title move them around if I want to whatever I want to do I can do that right here I'm gonna hit save and it saves it I already assigned this to my dashboard layout so we're gonna go right in Athlete Central and check out what we've done so we can go in here I have my demo group and like we like we saw Robert Lane here um, we have our set of visuals that are right in here. So here's our default dashboard and of course you can have multiple tabs here. This is just the basic one. And then I created this load management one and we're going to select that and then we're going to see the exact visuals that we created previously. So here we go. If we want to look at the balance, the acute to chronic ratio, um, you have it showing up right here um, as you can see. So of course you can toggle these on or off um, as needed. So up to here, um, he's, he's been overloaded and then he's been good to go around here. So we have the RPE training stress balance, one that we created with the acute to chronic ratio. Of course, the thresholds are all right there, right on the, right on the axes right here. You can see all the background colors as well as the plots themselves. So you can see the uh, acute and chronic actual loads. You can see the daily loads. So you might have um, whatever it might be going along the line here. So 600 right here. So you have that TSB one. Your daily RPE rating, you can see each day. So you're looking, okay, how hard was the session for you? Okay, I'm trending downward. I might've had a couple rest days in here, but I can see that exactly, exact RPE rating that we created in the first place. And then lastly, you have your monotony and strain. So of course you have your, your week total. So the 25th, the week of the first, the week of the eighth, and so on. You have your strain and your monotony and also the average daily load. The cool part about what we just set up is these three dashboards can be printed um, on the individual and group basis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go into the group dashboard here. And of course, we have our first layout here where we have a bunch of different ones. Uh, but we're gonna go over to load management, the new layout I created. So now you have the whole team's RPE training stress balance right here and you can see how that progresses over time. You have the daily RPE rating, so you're looking at the average of the session rating for your athletes, so it's trending slightly downward here. And then you have monotony and strain of the full team. So those are just a few different visuals on how to uh, work with load management within the, within the Coach Me Plus system here. Um, and now I'm gonna open up the question and answer section.